How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video here on Switch Planet. I hope you're all having a good day. Today we have another highlight video for you, something that we all got a sneak peek of during one of Nintendo's indie showcases, Liberated. Us over here at Switch Planet would like to thank Walkabout Games for sponsoring the video and supporting the channel. We love doing these highlights for you guys, especially if it means introducing you to some fun and unique games. Liberated twists and turns into a grim world in a very creative way. If you like what you see, make sure to check the description for more details after the video, and we are also giving away Liberated to 5 lucky winners. Make sure to watch until the end to find out how you can enter. Let's jump into the dark reality of Liberated and what makes it unique. Liberated is developed by Atomic Wolf and published by Walkabout Games and was just recently released. Atomic Wolf may ring some bells as they developed Mad Age and This Guy, which blends the styles of Bomberman and puzzle solving. Atomic Wolf has a small number of titles under their belt, but both Mad Age and Liberated are formidable. For the recently released Liberated, Atomic Wolf implements deep storytelling, tackling real-world issues, and a gritty art style to accompany it. Liberated takes place in a distant future, and the government has taken control of all aspects of life. Using an Orwellian-type monitoring system to watch over every single civilian through social media, transactions, conversations, and everything else under the sun when it comes to a digital footprint. This surveillance allows the government to theoretically prevent all sorts of crimes and keeps the entire population under their thumb. While many people are sucked into this new lifestyle, others can't help but rise up against the government as they see that this sort of system is just a way for absolute control over the country. The Liberated is seen from two different perspectives, vigilantes fighting for what's right or terrorists only here to cause havoc. Throughout the different chapters of the game, we get to play as both sides, yet there is no clear good or bad guy which keeps the grim atmosphere strong. What's unique about this title, which I will delve into later, each section of the game is an issue of Liberated, sort of like a comic book miniseries taking on the role of different characters that are all connected in some way. The way the story is told is done perfectly, and I felt no need for any sort of voice acting to back it up. I feel as if there were any, it would have taken away from the overall story. Instead, we have a perfect combination of sounds, whether that be the howling weather, dark city streets, to the gunshots, and explosions that fill the pages. One of the biggest things, especially in literature, is to imagine what the characters sound like, hear the noises around them, and the same goes for comics and graphic novels, and Liberated does just that. It throws the reader right into the dystopian world without warning or explanation, and when the pages stop turning, it has some pretty big statements that hit close to home. Liberated has two separate difficulties, depending on preference. For something easier, and for those who just want to experience the story, the reader difficulty is perfect. For a bit more of a challenge, there is a normal option, and the difference between the difficulties is how the enemies are scaled. This is not just a moving panel of text and dark artwork. Some of the panels have the player take control of the character it's focused on, with a couple of different ways to approach the situation. Head-to-head -head combat or utilizing the stealth mechanic to your advantage. Running through each and every section is pretty risky, especially since you don't have a full view of what's ahead, and it can be hard to spot enemies if you're not careful. In many instances, you are equipped with a gun, with a trusty line to show what you're aiming at. During the first two issues, the enemies can be easy to deal with, but as you continue on, the enemies become armored or start to swarm in groups, making the head-on approach less viable. This is where stealth begins to shine. While you're moving through the horizontal panel, there are certain spots to hide behind and take enemies out without getting killed. Running across the entire panel can also make noises and alert enemies, so there is an option to slowly sneak forward to avoid that. The controls in this game are not that complicated, and the simplicity of it also makes it easier for the player to approach how they want. If you do happen to die during an encounter, then you will be taken back a frame or two to restart the instance. Throughout each issue, there is a fair amount of puzzle solving to do, whether that be moving objects to get to hard to reach places, or some fun little mini games to continue progressing. They are not brain busters, but just the right amount of difficulty, but add a little more variety to gameplay as a whole. I ran through the game on normal and was fairly surprised that trying to go guns blazing and rush each panel did not work in my favor. The game teaches you when the right time to do a certain action is beneficial, which I appreciate. Along with the movement, combat, and puzzles, my absolute favorite moments while playing through Liberate is the quick time events. 
small little instances where you need to press the correct combination of buttons to succeed while escaping or shooting at a group of enemies. Fail to do so will give you another chance, but the button presses are randomized each time, forcing you to pay attention and focus. There were some cool little cutscenes tied to these events, and it's a big plus. As mentioned before, there are five issues to play, either on the side of the Liberated or the Police, to give both perspectives of the situation. With the simple control setup, it's not too hard to master. I used a Switch Pro controller for the bulk of my playthrough in Liberated, and it was pretty good. On the big screen, Liberated was a treat to play, especially with my surround sound. The music and sound effects really popped. Yet in handheld, it is much better when it comes to how close you are, especially when you're reading those long text bubbles. It's nice and snug in handheld as always, so it's a nice game to take on the go. As mentioned before, as far as functionality, with the different ways of playing, you're not doing complicated tasks or crazy control patterns, so however you play will be comfortable. The overall art style of Liberated reminds me of Image Comics, massively detailed in its panels, not relying too much on flashy colors or expressions, but more along the lines of rugged detail and dark color palettes. The game focuses on telling the story not just through dialogue, but through the images themselves. The colors are black, gray, and white, but show so much personality in each panel. The addition of animating the panels really gives the game some extra detail, which I definitely would like to see more of in comics as a whole. The art is accompanied by a gloomy soundtrack, which makes the dystopian society real while playing. Reminiscent of the noir fused with a cyberpunk kind of sound, this game has been carefully crafted. The tone stays consistent in every facet of Liberated, and that's something to be commended. I would like to do something a little different since playing and beating Liberated. This has made me realize that comic books should probably follow this example. They have created a moving story that is not only engaging, but done in digital issues. Atomic Wolf breathes life into the comic genre and gaming genre, fusing them together to make an interactive experience. I believe many more should follow suit, bringing a new generation to reading more comic books and graphic novels. This title also gets me excited to see some sort of continuation or additional titles set in the same universe. I'll even buy physical copies of the actual issues, since the artwork is very well done and the covers look awesome. This game also carries an impactful message about society today, and lands on some pretty touchy subjects. It's a sort of social commentary while delving into current issues, hitting home for a lot of people. It's reminiscent of the works of George Orwell and Ray Bradbury, and really sets up the dystopian setting perfectly. I enjoyed my playthrough of Liberated and highly recommend it for those who want a change of pace. It is definitely unique in the way that it handles the moving comic book, and mixed with its dark, ominous world, it's enjoyable. The combat is necessarily simple and easy to learn, but the scrolling panels packs more story and detail into the overall issue. The art direction is perfect for this sort of game, and the real-world issues it covers keeps the player informed. If you want something that is heavily story-based, this is definitely a title to pick up. I'm hoping there's more to build in this dystopian society. Maybe even some more side stories for Liberated would be a welcome add-on. From what you've seen, what do you guys think of the overall look of the game? Let us know in the comments down below what you think. Also, thank you to Walkabout Games for sending us a code to try Liberated, and of course for sponsoring this video. And to our viewers for watching, thank you! If you got this far, as mentioned in the beginning, we are giving away 5 codes to 5 lucky viewers of Liberated. The only thing you have to do is leave a comment, and that's it. We'll pick some comments at random in 3 days and reply saying you've won. So if you are participating, make sure you have your notifications on. Well that's all I have for you today guys, make sure to like and comment what you thought. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel to support us, and hit that notification bell to be notified when we post new videos. I'm Danny, and I hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you next time here on Switch Planet. Okay everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you liked that video, please leave a like and subscribe and ring the bell if you want to get notified when we release new content. We hope to see you in the next video.